So guys, last year, this was my favorite iPad and Mac accessory of 2021, and this is this on steroids. Let's ramble. Hold up, face go up when I pull up, they all on me like at once. Hey, what's up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is why I ramble about tech and other stuff. So the M1 iPad Pro is an amazing piece of hardware, especially the 12.9 inch version. In my opinion, it is the best tablet that is currently available on the market. So what makes this tablet so awesome? What makes it so much better than the competition? There are four things that really set this tablet apart. There is of course the beautiful mini LED display. There is a ridiculous amount of RAM in there. I mean, it has 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is complete overkill for a tablet, but it is truly impressive. And you can be sure that it can handle anything you throw at it without stuttering. It has an M1 chip, which again is nuts. And it has a Thunderbolt port. And that opens up a ton of possibilities. One of my favorite benefits of having a Thunderbolt port on the iPad is that I can now hook up my super fast Thunderbolt SSD drives to the iPad and enjoy super fast read and write speeds. If you've been to this channel before, you know I'm a huge advocate of only buying the internal storage you really need on your devices and do everything else using external storage. My favorite drive is the LaCie Rugged SSD. This thing is an absolute beast. It is nice and compact. It is fully waterproof. You can literally drop it into the river, fish it out, and it will still be fine. But most of all, it has insane read and write speeds of up to 2800 megabits per second. By the way, I did two dedicated videos with in-depth comparisons of several top-of-the-line SSD drives, let's say one comparing premium drives and one comparing super premium drives like the LaCie. If you're interested in those, I'll put a link in the description below the video. The downside of the LaCie is that it's very expensive, more expensive than most other drives. Now you might think, what's the point then? I might as well shell out more money for internal storage. And while that would be making a valid point, that storage sits on your iPad and it can't be used anywhere else. And an external SSD can be used between all of your devices. So Thunderbolt drives are amazing to use with the M1 iPad Pro, but there is one issue and that is of course that the iPad Pro has only the one port and you would have to invest in a Thunderbolt hub if you wanna have more than just the one port while still being able to use the SSD at full speed. So then we're looking at something like the CalDigit TS3 Pro, which I've been using for a long time as the main hub for my MacBook Pro. But if you take the price of the LaCie and add on the CalDigit, you're looking at a pretty hefty investment. Now, the reason I chose the Acasis Hub as my favorite iPad accessory of 2021 is the fact that it combines a hub with SSD memory at a very reasonable price. How? Well, this thing is not just a hub, it is also an enclosure for NVMe SSD memory. And if you don't know, this type of memory is typically used as internal SSD, but because of the enclosures, you can basically turn them into external SSDs. And the advantage of that is that you can buy large storage capacities at high speeds at relatively low cost. The disadvantage of the Acasis is that it is a USB-C hub, not a Thunderbolt hub, which of course brings some limitations. Now, this thing basically does what the Acasis does, but it does it better, faster, and more. This is the XFANUC USB 4 13-in-1 hub. Full disclosure, this is a pre-production model that was sent to me by XFANUC to test out and review for you guys because the project is still active on Kickstarter, so you can't buy it in stores just yet. But it has literally blown past its funding goals many times over, and it's nearing the end of the Kickstarter phase, which means if you do decide to back this product, you won't have to wait ages to receive it. I believe they will be shipping as early as April. Now, the added advantage of backing something like this on Kickstarter rather than waiting for it to hit the stores is of course the fact that you get a significant early bird discount, in this case 34% off the MSRP. Now just for reference, I'm currently using this thing with my iPad Pro, but this hub is built to work with the fastest computers as well. So this would also be a fantastic companion for even the newest Macs. So let's have a closer look at this thing and all it can do. XFANUC sent me the Pro version, so it does have a slot for NVMe memory, and in my opinion, that is what makes this device so interesting. I'd be less interested in the non-Pro version, but that very much depends on your use case. It comes with its own power supply, obviously, since this hub will also be able to actually power your device. So on the back side, we have the 100 watt power delivery charging port, we have the USB 4, 40 gigabits per second port, and three different video outputs. Now, without going into too much detail, because that's for another video that I'll be doing soon, but these display ports are insane. You could hook up three different displays to an M1 MacBook, and as far as I know, not many other docks can do that. 
And not just any old display, this thing can handle two 4K displays at 60 Hz and one 8K monitor at 60 Hz or one 4K display at 120 Hz. I mean, that is just nuts. We have the DC input and of course the Ethernet port for that fast internet. On the other side, we have the interface that I believe is most interesting for the iPad as it contains the readers for both micro SD and SD cards. It has two USB 3.2 ports and another 10 gigabits per second USB-C port. There's also a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is useful if you wanna use this for things like video editing, since you will be able to use your wired headphones and work without any kind of lag. Normally, we're limited to Bluetooth headphones with the iPad Pro, which is not ideal for this type of use case. This thing fixes that. And lastly, we have the power button. Now for the really interesting part, we have the slot for our NVMe memory. Now I'm using a one terabyte SSD, but this thing supports drives of up to eight terabyte, which is absolutely amazing. As you can see, the lid pops off magnetically and it snaps back on just as easily. You simply open it up, slide in your SSD and close it back up. I'm using a full-sized one, but it does support four different sizes. So guys, as you can see, this thing really has it all. You can hook up pretty much anything to your single port M1 iPad Pro and use it as a full-blown workstation. And again, I'm using it with my iPad Pro, but I'm currently waiting for my new M1 Max MacBook Pro to arrive any day now, and you can be sure that I'll be putting this thing through its paces and test every single feature. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you know when that's up. If the video was useful to you, please give it one of these. It really does help the channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.